What's up guys, it's Travis and welcome back to my channel. In my recent video, I mentioned to you guys this new token called Sovereign. And if you guys are interested in learning more about the Sovereign token, then feel free to click that link up above. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step how to buy the Sovereign token and how to stake it so you can earn passive income. So if that sounds good to you guys and you get value from today's video, then please make sure to leave that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this in the future. Let's jump right into it. All right, so heading right over to the Sovereign app, this is where we're gonna be buying Sovereign. So a couple things that you guys need before you get started is first, you need Bitcoin. So however you get it, it doesn't matter. I personally bought my Bitcoin through Coinbase, but it really doesn't matter as long as you can get Bitcoin. And then in order to hold Bitcoin, you actually need what's called a wallet. So if you don't have a wallet set up, you'll need to do that. There's a few different wallets out there. I, like I said, like to use Coinbase. I use the Coinbase wallet. I use several other wallets on top of that, but I like to use Coinbase because it's very secure. All right, so now that you have your Bitcoin sitting in your wallet, we can get started. There's a few wallets that you're going to need to download and create. You're gonna need what's called a liquidity wallet, and you're also going to need a MetaMask wallet. At least these are what I've used. And you guys can see right here that I have them set up as Chrome extensions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Liquality Wallet. It's gonna open up my wallet. And then you can see your assets right here. So there's a few things that you need to make sure you've got set up here. You're gonna head over to Settings. Once you get the settings, you're gonna make sure that you set default Web3 wallet on, and you're gonna make sure to turn Web3 network over to Rootstock. These are the two things that you're gonna to need to set up in order to do swaps and trades. Now, once this Bitcoin has been received, we can go ahead and swap the Bitcoin for what's called RBTC or Rootstock Bitcoin. So we're gonna click on swap here and you're gonna change from ETH over to Rootstock, Rootstock BTC. And then depending on how much you wanna exchange, let's just say I wanna do max, I'll max it out. I'll go ahead and click review. And that's what's gonna swap my Bitcoin for the RBTC. And the reason we need RBTC is because Sovereign is a coin that's on the Rootstock network. So this is the first step to buying Sovereign. Once that's done, you're gonna come over here to the Sovereign DAP. So once you're on the Sovereign page, you're gonna see this Engage Wallet in the upper right hand corner. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna click Browser. And then you're gonna select Liquality Wallet. Now you can see that my wallet is connected to the Sovereign app. So if you guys are looking at the screen right now, Sovereign just had their first pre-sale for the FISH token today, and they sold out in less than 30 minutes. The total value locked right now in Sovereign is over $567 million. While the entire market cap of Sovereign is well under $100 million. So we currently have over five times the amount of value locked in Sovereign right now compared to its market cap. This is only a part of the reason of why I think Sovereign is incredibly undervalued. And I just wanna add here in this video, we're also gonna be talking about staking. And since I decided to buy Sovereign token and stake it, I was able to qualify for what's called an airdrop for staking my Sovereign tokens. So this is one of many different reasons of why it's a great idea to stake your Sovereign token on the Sovereign's app in order to earn passive income and like I just said, now I'm qualifying for free airdrops of different token sales. All right, so now that we're here, we're signed on to the Sovereign app and our wallet is connected. We're gonna come over here to trade and we're gonna click on buy Sovereign. All right, so we have our wallet engaged. We have our RBTC and now we can buy the Sovereign token. So if we come here, click on 100%, it'll show you how much Sovereign you can buy with the RBTC that you have in your wallet. At the bottom here, you're gonna click Buy Sovereign, and there you go. That's how you get your hands on Sovereign. So in order to stake our Sovereign token, we're gonna to come up here to Bitocracy. We're gonna click on Stake, and that's gonna take us over to the Sovereign Staking Investing page. As you guys can see right now, I have my Sovereign Stake. I have 102 Sovereign Staked here. It tells me the amount of voting power I have because of the amount of Sovereign that I have staked. It also tells me the date of when my Sovereign tokens will be unlocked. And I can technically unstake these early, but there are penalties for this. I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. But, but this is pretty much what it looks like. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click on add new stake. You're gonna enter the amount of Sovereign tokens that you wanna stake. And then you can decide how long you wanna stake those tokens for, whether that's a couple weeks, 
a year, a couple of years, but then you can see down here, depending on the length of your stake, it gives you a certain amount of voting power that changes. So the more sovereign you have staked on the platform, the more voting power you have to make future decisions with sovereign. So if you believe in sovereign in the long run, then it may make sense to buy more tokens. That way you have more voting power to make sure that the sovereign goes in the direction that you want it to go in the future, or at least you can have some part in that. All right, so once you have the determined amount of sovereign that you wanna stake, you're gonna click confirm and it's going to start staking for you. So very simple, very easy to use, and that's how you stake your sovereign tokens. Now, one of the issues that I had with staking my sovereign was the Liquality Wallet, like I mentioned to you guys before. The Liquality Wallet is very easy to use, and I liked it a lot, but when I came over to the Sovereign app and I looked for my staking coins, I couldn't see them. So I messaged the developers, and they said to try MetaMask. So what I did was I imported my seed phrase from my Liquality Wallet and put it into MetaMask. And so in my MetaMask, I had to switch over to the RSK mainnet. I had to do a couple different things. And actually Sovereign shows you step-by-step -step how to do this. And that's gonna be on this page right here. It tells you step-by-step -step what to input, where to put it. And it was very straightforward, just plug and chug. So once I had my seed phrase input into my MetaMask, I was then able to again see my sovereign tokens that were being staked. So if you guys do have a problem seeing your staked tokens, don't freak out about it. Sometimes this happens to the quality wallet. I've heard a few different situations with people having issues like this. So like I said, don't be freaked out and you could try using the MetaMask and that's personally what's worked best for me. All right, so with that, I wanna get into more detail of what happens after you decide to stake your Sovereign tokens. All right, so what is Sovereign? Well, Sovereign is an ERC-20 token that was minted on Rootstock. Sovereign itself does not grant governance rights. Instead, Sovereign gives the option for the token holder to stake in the Sovereign protocol, which then provides the token holder with governance rights. And so with governance comes this thing called Bitocracy which gives weighted voting rights to participants based on how much skin in the game they have. Only users who stake SOV tokens, or these stakers, receive voting power, and they can stake up to a three-year period, during which sovereign liquidity is suspended, thus removing arbitrage opportunities that could lead to abuse of the system. So not only does staking give you more voting rights, it also helps to lock up liquidity of the sovereign token. You don't see as much of the arbitrage of the token, and you see less volatility because those tokens are being locked up for extended periods of time. I also think it's very important that the people that have the most tokens locked up in Sovereign also have the most voting power because they're the ones that have the most skin in the game. So this website also has some really cool metrics that I like to take a look at. And as you guys can see, we really didn't have a lot of the Sovereign token being staked until recently, until we had our first token being listed through Sovereign called the Babelfish token. And I'm gonna be talking about that token in an upcoming video. But in order to qualify for this airdrop and future airdrops, people had to stake their tokens. And that's why we saw a huge increase in staked coins before this airdrop, which just happened yesterday. So I think it's really cool how we have all of these on-chain metrics that really give you a good idea of what's going on behind the scenes. Now, next I wanna show you guys this calculator for the Sovereign token. This will tell you how much roughly you can make with the Sovereign token on an annual basis. So for me personally, I have 100 staked tokens, and let's say I have those tokens staked up for 78 periods, each period being two weeks. And these are the statistics for the amount of Sovereign tokens that I have locked up and the amount of time that I'll have them locked up for. So I have a total of 1,000 for voting power, I'm making roughly 20% APY, and on top of that APY, I'll also be getting roughly 62% of estimated yield based off different sales and the things that are going on with the Sovereign token. And so at the end of the term, I should have received roughly 62 Sovereign for staking over that period of time. Now you can come in here and change the numbers. Let's say I wanna do 1,000, and that'll change, right? So my voting power just went up to 10,000. APR stayed roughly the same, so did the yield but obviously my sovereign return I'm making a lot more. Before you decide to go and stake your tokens, you can kind of see what you'll be making. And this all changes based off of what you're putting into this calculator. So if you guys want to take advantage of that and figure out what you'd be making roughly on an annual basis with sovereign, 
this is where I would go. And I really think this is a great idea for you to check out and make sure that this is something that you'd be interested in doing before you just go and lock up your tokens. You need to figure out whether this is worth it to you. And so that's what this calculator is intended to do. Now, earlier I mentioned to you guys that if you do decide to unstake your tokens early, there are penalty fees for this. And you might be wondering where those penalty fees go. Well, they go to the stakers. So if you're staking your tokens and someone decides to pay this penalty fee to take their tokens off early, you would be getting a percentage of those fees directed to you. So here is a list of all the fees and how they work depending on how early you wanna withdraw. So the max fee that you will get is a 30% withdrawal fee, and that's if you decide to withdraw 154 weeks early. And then obviously as you get closer and closer to your expiration date, the fees get less and less. So as you get down to two weeks here, it's gonna cost you roughly 4% if you do decide to unstake your tokens early. So like I said, it's very important you guys go out and calculate what you'll be making once you start staking your tokens. That way you know the risk and reward of staking those tokens. And you also need to understand that this does come with penalties if you do decide to unstake early. And these are the fees for that. So if you guys wanna take a look at that, this is also on their website. Now you know how to buy the Sovereign Token and also how to stake it. Now there are many different ways to buy the Sovereign Token. This is just what worked best for me. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm more than willing to help you out. But Sovereign also has what's called a Telegram group and they have developers that are in there answering questions every single day. So I'll leave a link for that Telegram group down below. But that's pretty much all I've got for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're able to get some sort of value. If you did, then please make sure to leave that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. As always, I'm Travis Trades, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon in the upcoming episode. Take it easy, guys.